Hello again. This is a tutorial for how to create your own animated scenes in PowerPoint using vector images. So let's get started. So the sequence you saw was made with vector images. If you don't know what those are, here's a very quick explanation. They're basically images made of different colored shapes layered on top of each other. So the line here is an example. In contrast, the car on the right side is not. It has pretty elaborate shading in some areas, which usually indicates that it's not a vector image. The advantage of vector images is you can modify the shapes, delete what you don't want, and easily take parts of different images to create your own customized ones. And you can make the pictures as big as you want without losing quality. Okay, now let's find some images to play around with. The place I like to go for free ones is the Microsoft Office Clip Art site. Just mark illustrations and enter your keywords. And now let's look for ones that seem like they could be vector images. First, let's try this palm tree. It is not, actually, and the way you can tell is that it does not say resizable here. And you can also see that it again has some very smooth shading in some areas. Okay, let's scroll down, and here is the palm tree picture that will form the base of our beach scene. Here you can see that it says resizable, so it is a vector image, so we should be good to go. Copy it, and now paste. Let's just resize it to fit our PowerPoint window. And here is the neat part. Right click and hit ungroup. A message will pop up. Say yes. And now you can see the individual layers of the image. Since they're still all grouped together, however, hit ungroup one more time. And now you can do what you want with them. I actually don't like this palm tree, so I'm removing it. I also want a little bit more sand to work with, so I'm going to add it in. And finally, I want the sand to be a more bright, cheerful color. Great, now we have the base of our beach scene and are ready to add stuff to it. We're going to paste in objects from other pictures, and I'll show you what we'll take from each one. So here we have our beach scene. Then from the Parliament House, we'll take the palm trees. From the dock scene, we'll take the boat. And from this beach, we'll grab the birds. From here, we'll take the rocks, we'll take the woman minus the sand, and we'll take everything from here except that chair. And now I'll just quickly show you how to do the pasting. So I came across this picture of the Parliament in India, and I wanted to use the palm trees for our beach scene. Basically, you have to highlight what you want to use, paste it onto a clean slide, and delete all the other stuff that got taken with it. Now you have to group the pieces to form each palm tree so that you can move them around individually. Okay, let's paste these onto our beach and move and resize as we like. Okay, now we're going to grab our rocks, paste them onto a blank slide, clean them up and group them. And I'm actually going to flip them horizontally so that they can go in front of our, our palm trees. So you guys get the cutting and pasting now. I'll just show you one more example with the woman because of one key change I did. I didn't really like her bun and I wanted to make her hair long, so I just stretched that part out. And of course we delete everything else and paste her in. Do the same thing to paste in the birds and the boat. And here's your beach scene. Now if you want to add in the animations, here's where it gets a little tricky. I'll show you some basics and you guys will get the general idea. So the easiest way to do it is just to add an animation to every grouping you did. So each piece comes in separately like this. However, I think a more interesting way to do it is to animate each layer of each object separately as shown in the intro sequence you saw. To do that, you have to first ungroup everything. Then you start animating the layers that are farthest back first, then working your way to the top. Our most basic layers right now are the sky, the ocean, and the sand. So let's start with those. We're just going to highlight them and add a float in animation. Make the first one start with previous, then start after previous for the other two, which will give you the effect you saw at the beginning. Okay, now we'll highlight the rest of the ocean layers and add a fade in effect. Have them all start after previous. And here's the result.
Now you guys get the general idea, so I won't go through animating every single thing, but just make sure to pull apart each object and start with the deepest layer first. In the case of these rocks, it's that light gray shape. Experiment with different types of animations just to see what looks best with each object, and just remember that this takes time and patience. So now I'll show you how to transition to another scene by removing some elements and adding others. First, let's duplicate our slide and use that copy to work off of. The first step now is to remove all entrance animations because we'll be adding exit effects instead to everything we won't need for the second scene. I'll just show you how to do the palm trees and it's just the same technique for the rest. Okay, we'll first need to regroup each tree. Then add the float out exit effect. Make the first start with previous, and the other two start after previous. You can see what this does, and I just did the same thing with the umbrella, boat, and clouds. Now we duplicate the slide again to make a third to work from. On this one, we'll take out all of the objects that had exit animations on the last slide. So we'll be taking out the trees, the umbrella, the boat, and the clouds. And now we're ready to create the second scene, which is this. First, we'll make the ocean a lighter color. Instead of recoloring each layer individually, I decided to just put a white gradient on top of it. The transparency is about a third at the top and 100% at the bottom. Now we're ready to build a second scene from this. Let's go to our lake image and get it ready. First, take out the water, get a little bit more sky, Shift some stuff around, remove the chair, and take out the sailboat for now. Now group stuff together and paste it on top of your third slide, the one that we were just working with. Now let's recolor the sky and the birds. And from here, it's basically about sending various layers to the front and back, shifting stuff around, and resizing different parts to get the picture you want. You just have to play around with it a lot. And let's add the sailboat back in. And from here, you basically repeat the process by ungrouping and adding the animations as I showed you before to get this type of effect. Here's what it could look like. Okay, great. So that's, that's basically it. You guys now have all the tools to recreate the sequence at the beginning. As a final point, this process can be done with photos as well by removing the background in PowerPoint or Photoshop, then having the images float in to make your own scene. There's so much that you can do here with vector images and other types of pictures, and I hope you've gotten a few new ideas to use in your own projects. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if the video is useful to you. If there are any other graphic effects that you'd like to see reproduced in PowerPoint, let me know, and I can try to give it a shot. Thanks again, and see you soon.